you know, newspapers have always had agendas, haven't they? Uh, but I suppose you would argue that this is a matter of life and death. This is a public health issue. If newspapers are publishing this stuff and presenting it as fact, what would you say to their editors? I mean, bingo, I think that that is, it is literally a matter of life and death. Um, and it's, it's not just the normal soap opera of politics. So people should be taking it uh, a, a lot more seriously. And just when when stuff, when people come and want to write articles and, you know, they may have letters after their names, they may be, you know, purport to be, um, you know, great scientists. It's just, just worth checking some of that against reality and at least giving people a kind of right of reply um, who've got a different perspective scientifically. Um, but Neil, I think so, the point we have to make here is, you know, it's fair criticism of, of newspapers and economists, but I hope you're saying this to people in your own party. There is a vast caucus in your own party who are saying exactly these things, who don't believe that we should be taking these steps, who are pushing the very information that is then very often quoted by people. So if you, if, I hope that you go to Steve Baker and you go to other people in the party and you say, you're talking nonsense. If, you, if that's your view, Neil O'Brien, then presumably you make that point to your colleagues. I, I do make that point to my colleagues, and I was indeed making that point to my colleague Steve Baker j just yesterday. I mean, obviously, I put it in a slightly more polite way, but um, no, I do think you know it doesn't exempt you from trying to get it right if you are uh, a member of Parliament. Um, uh, in fact, it, it's more important than ever that you try and um, um, present um, what is true rather than what you hope is true. So, um, uh, you know, I, I basically agree. <laughs>